Hey guys, so I want to do a little review. I've been kind of wanting to break into uh, showing you some products that I use, telling you how I use them, why I use them, what I think about them, shit like that. So recently, um, Reverb was amazing. Reverb.com, really, really like those dudes. Uh, their services are great, and I've been using their XLR cables and uh, instrument cables for a while. Well, recently they dropped these patch cables, and you can get three of them for nine dollars I think I got them for I ordered like four packs uh, that was in my last mail day and I really like them uh, like I said I think they're really flexible the jacks are solid I've been kind of purposefully beating the shit out of them for I think what the week and a half almost two weeks I've had them now uh, so I still can't speak too much about the longevity but I want to address one thing that I think is a major issue and I've already had to deal with it a few times so they have this shrink wrap, and while this is super flexible, this is really, really thick. And I understand, like, you want this potential joint to be firm, um, but what happened was, I can kind of show you here, and I'll show you on my GoPro. Um, what would happen is, on my big board, I'd have things where I had, like, a low pedal and a really high pedal, and something like this would happen. So, I'd have this like joint here that would end up sticking out way further than I wanted it to and it would make it kind of hellish to, to kind of move the cables under like my pedal train spaces and I've had a ton of issue with that. So, what I did was I took my wire snips that I used for my data tech job um, and I kind of cut nicely around them and then I kind of peeled them back very carefully to not destroy the, the actual lining. So I can show you close up here. What I did was I took it down to, you know, less than a half inch. It's about a quarter inch. And that served me really well. So you don't get this joint here, this super long joint. Um, that kind of ruins everything for me. i show you well that now I can have it bend way way better so I can have a much tighter bend on this joint and get it just just way nicer so other than that so far they've been super great and just what a freaking deal these cables are very affordable and they're they're pretty nice they feel good they look good the jacks look good I haven't had a connection issue and I've kind of purposefully like tossed them around a little bit <laughs> just to uh, kind of expedite some of the, the wear and tear that you have on like your, your spare cables and stuff. I still plan to go to disaster area um, solderless stuff because I really liked it and I want to at least try it for a, an extended period of time. But right now I have a good handful of my board is these that I've kind of modded and cut the, the like shrink wrap stuff on. So it was really tedious but after a couple of them, I kind of got the hang of it and I was able to peel them back really fast. Reverb, if you watch this, hopefully you do. Um, I don't know who you like have make these, how they end up being made or whatever, but really try and see if you can get rid of that somehow. And I know it's like your logo and it, it brands them Reverb, but uh, they're super inconvenient and had major issues with that. So I took care of it. Right now, I like it better than the, these older ones I have. You can see the difference in thickness is pretty obvious, and these are not bendy. Whereas this one is like ultra bendy. Anyway, just a short video to, to talk about those patch cables. I'm really enjoying them. Um, I have the video should be dropped now. You can watch it here for this video. Um, for the SMK Iron Giant, really great distortion pedal. So, that's it. Till next video. Take it easy, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe. I have an Amazon affiliate link if you're interested in other ways to support my ventures. And I appreciate that greatly. That'll be all linked below. Thanks, guys.